Hi, my YouTuber friends. Good news, my stove has come in. My two burner stove, as you can see, that's what the picture looks like. It's simple, simply made. Oh, subscribe to my video, like, press the notification bell down down there. You know, get latest videos on my van hook uh, picks up. It's almost ready to go anyway. I'm in my rented little room, which I'm keeping because, like I said, I have the best of both worlds. I have the little room for basically for storage and to sleep if it's rough, rough, or my van breaks down. Because I, I stress this before to other van dwellers, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So I practice what I preach. If my van breaks down and I take to the garage for two, three days, I still have somewhere to live. And stay to stay. While other people say, oh God, what am I going to do? i got to rent a motel at $80 a, a pop. I pay three, four hundred dollars a month for this place. That's a lot cheaper than paying a motel fee a day. Hell yeah. And even that, it's, it's still cheaper than paying rent. So I live both, have the best of both worlds. You know, so. And this way, it allows me to have my van. Do my van dwelling without the, the, my, ha my van being over packed with clothes and food and all type of stuff. All the major stuff will be here. And I can always come back here to restock. And that's how I do it. But anyway, it's not about that. It's about my stove that came here it is it's simply see the thing i like about this stove cast iron stove it's simple and the way it's open i can cook any big size of stove any size of pots on it inside it's pots in it because a lot of van dwellers i notice they have the, the the fancy ones where they the fancy ones where it's closed up closed up and you have the lid on top i don't want that type of crap if they look good don't get wrong they look fancy and look good but they're limited and they can fall back they get dirty easy and you can clean it all out this is simply easy to clean as well as we'll see and here it is out of the box a little compression of course i use the technology of the um um what, what do you call it again when you mess with your phone with the camera phone i kind of use technology so i can edit that's it edit so i really i cheated i redid it while i the camera was, was on off mode and i put it on here much quicker anyway so i'll get the video quicker for you it's beautiful i love it it's nice you see it's a simple cast iron cast iron you know so put it on off i got my connections right here and like i said i like the way i like the way it's open because the way it's open i can put any type of pots in fact i'll show you in a second see like i said any type of pots i can put on for example see from a small pot and put there for water i have a kicker for that from the port from, to a big pot because I like to cook as well. This is a big pot, and I even got a bigger one than this. A bigger one, see? There you go. Fine pan, how about that? See? Well, I put that on to catch fire. See, that's the, thing, that's the good thing about it, see? It's awesome. You can use small pots with this one to be old on. I'm not I'm, 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 I'm work on this one. It's just the water and it's got a kekel. There you go, see? And that's what I like about these. It's an open one because I can cook limited stuff. I don't, a lot of grand have the small. So the small pan, no, so I don't want a small pan, I like my big pan so I'll cook my meat and stuff. No, I'm not a vegan, I'm not going to eat like a rabbit. I love my meat, my chicken, my steak, I'm going to eat it. And that's that. Don't like it? Fuck you. That's what I like. Meat. Oi! Anyway, let me take it downstairs to my vehicle and put it in my vehicle so it looks. I'll see you downstairs. Follow me down, guys. Now here I am, guys. I'm back. You hear with me? There you go. This is what it looks like in the van, of course. My home. Like I said, I put this up here as well. So I can wipe with my cooking here. And it's, it's a jury day. As you can see outside, it looks like a, a rainy, horrible day out there, as you can see. Oh, of course, my DVDs are going to go right here, of course. Of course, my TV, of course, is there. My TV. I'm gonna, what I'm planning to do is get my PlayStation and hook it up up it. Not here, or probably put, in, put it right there somewhere. We'll have to figure it out. But let's go back to this. This is what I'm talking about. So I'm going to have the propane tank wired. In fact, I'm going to go today and get the wiring. But it's going to be a V. And my propane tank is going to be on the outside. Outside in a container. It's going to be hooked up to the door and welded to the door. So it stays outside at all times. Just for safety, you know. And I have the wiring come here. One for this. And a second wiring for the heater. The heater is going to go right there. My my heater, the uh, Scar guy from Viking Van Life. I like his heater. I'm gonna get what he got. He got the three, I think the three heater or something it's called. It's called three something, I forgot. Anyway, it was his, it was actually, he gave me the idea. I wasn't gonna get the buddy heater anyway. The buddy heater 
get a lot of complaints that it gets too hot too fast. That's not good. I want a heater that's going to be just mild and warm up slowly. But anyway, that's about it, really. And thank you, Scar, for your input. I appreciate that. This is why I like to listen to other van dwellers. And this is why I like when other van dwellers subscribe to my channel. And I subscribe to theirs. And we can learn from each other ideas and stuff. And I've learned from other van dwellers certain things. And like I said about having my little room, I don't want to stuck up my van with lots of stuff and furniture and clothes and all type of crap. See, the way it looks empty like this, this is how I like it. It's going to stay basically like this. I like my food. My spices, my spices are going to be able to see my spices area, my spices. You've seen this already in my other video, but I'll show you more detail. My sugar, no, not, no, not sugar, is it sugar? Yeah, sugar, flour, uh, probably a few other stuff in there. I got uh, cereal, cereal I'm going to put in there. I can take it out and make cereal and stuff like that. And I put my lights in there already, but this is the main thing, like I said. It's simple. I can put bigger. I can put as big a pot as I want. On a great, very day, if I'm parked somewhere, I'll open this door wide open as I cook here, so the air will go out. I won't, I'll never cook with this with the door all closed up. Don't do that. It's dangerous. Even with the fan I have, even with the fan, yeah, it's debatable. But they always recommend use it outside. And that's my video anyway. So like the video. Hope you like the. Uh, hope you like the update. If you don't, you don't. But I hope you do anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Like us a button. And I'm, I'm going to go to Home Depot right now and get the, the piece, the square two piece. And get my propane tank. And that's it. Basically, I'm do some body work. Alright? With that, I'm out. I'll see you guys later, alright? Cheers. Have a good weekend, alright? So.